the Coral Cup handicap hurdle is next, and this is a two mile five furlong grade three handicap hurdle. On the top one is Lixnor for Darren Thompson, Ingleby Fandango for David Robertson, Cloud Mambo for Craig Allen, Forest Ting, David Robertson, Aconitum Half, James Shea, Blooming Good, Craig Beck with the Red Baron, Joshua Sutherland, Beauty Queen, Martin Leader, McLaren for Paul Rhodes, Karma Rouge Island, Alex Cherry, Viper Strike, Paul Rhodes, Mary Junior, Grand Cristobal, Karuga Blank, and Billy Vodden, Tapper for Thomas Rogers, She's Far Ed for Graham Clutterbuck, Crafty Tweed and Portland Mirrored for Vinnie Gerrard and Winder Chime for Alex Cherry. So 18 then in this big handicap hurdle and should be a good one this one and away they go. Making their way towards the first of what will probably be 11 or 12 flights I would think and it'll be 11. And Aconite and half on the far side might just about with the leader Mary Jr coming through to take a share of it though now with Blooming Good so they sort themselves out as they make their way towards the first of these 11 flights and they all get to it and all get over it nicely although a little bit untidy Billy Vodden Tapper right over on the far side so Mary Junior then being driven along then to try and get in the lead but Blooming Good's going to cut across to the rail and we'll get the inside but now Mary Junior starts to assert and leads by half a length there's a good five length gap already back to the third place Viper Strike as we see them momentarily they're racing away from us but it's Mary Junior at the second in the lead from Blooming Good over it in second then Viper Strike and she's far in after that one and then comes Aconite and Half and Crafty Tro Tweed with Portland Mirrored and the Red Baron next the main body of the field are pretty tightly packed but the leading pair are clear of them and Mary Junior has now got a two length lead over Blooming Good is in second and has a two and a half length lead over Viper Strike with She's Far Red on the near side in third and then comes Aconite and Half and Portland Mirrored as they get over flight number three with Beauty Queen and Ingleby Fandango the two who are out the back Mary Junior and Blooming Good 1, 2 and Viper Strike 3 then as they race downhill then now they're not hanging about in this as they never do and they get over flight number 4 and they're all safely over it and streaming over it well with Mary Junior clear by 2 and the crowd will cheer them along as they come past and they'll move into the straight now and take the flight that'll be the last on the next circuit Mary Junior leads them over it from Blooming Good in second and Viper Strike in third. Lixnor's now moved through into fourth as we get a look at them from the top of the stand and see them racing away, swinging left handed out for a complete circuit of the track. And they take the course on the far right this time and it's Mary Junior that leads by two lengths to Blooming Good in second and Viper Strike third. She's far it is now clear fourth and then comes Portland Mirrored and the Red Baron then Aconite and Harvard, Lixnor and McLaren then Crafty Tweed is after that one, Karuga Blank and Beauty Queen making a forward move, Cloud Mambo and Forest Ting and towards the back Karma Rouge Island, Wind Chime, Billy Vodden, Tapper and Ingleby Fandango still at the back of the field but Mary Junior is leading them a merry dance at the moment as they get to flight number six and gets over at a length clear of Blooming Good who is in second Viper Strike is poised ready to strike in third then she's fired on the outside is fourth with McLaren getting close on the inside Portland Mirrored also close up the Red Baron now trying to get a little bit close as well one or two of these starting to make their move to jockey into position to make a challenge at the business end of the race as we're well inside the final mile and jumping flight number seven and over that one they go and Mary Junior it is who's still in the lead by about a length to Blooming Good in second and Viper Strike third she's far out now making a forward move around the outside in fourth then McLaren and the Red Baron and Portland Mirrored and Licks Northern Karuga Blank and Crafty Tweed and Aconitum Half and Forest Ting and Karma Rouge Island with Beauty Queen and Cloud Mambo then a gap to the back three of Ingleby Fandango and Windchime and Billy Vodden Tapper as they take number eight which they're all over Windchime made a mistake and he's surely out of it Mary Junior though is still in the lead but they're queuing up behind now the ones that are coming through to challenge the Red Baron looks to be going ominously well also trying to cut through the pack and look for racing room is McLaren but it's Mary Junior who's still in front from Blooming Good she's firing Viper Strike McLaren and Jockey had to snatch up there had absolutely nowhere to go as Blooming Good started to drop away but it's Mary Junior 
in the lead. Merry Junior from Crafty Tweed, who's now sweeping around the outside over the third last they go. And it's Merry Junior from Crafty Tweed. Crafty Tweed come through the challenge and Crafty Tweed pokes ahead in front. It's Crafty Tweed from Merry Junior. Then Aconitum Half has moved through in the third. Then Licks Nor and the Red Baron McLaren's now trying to get a clear run as they get over the second last. And it's Crafty Tweed who's clear from Aconitum Half who's moved through in the second. Then comes Merry Junior trying to run on again. Licks Nor and the Red Baron's still in there and she's far heads after that one. There's only got one to jump. There's a little more than a furlong to go and the Red Baron has taken it up. It's the Red Baron in the lead. The Clutterbuck pair are closing. They come down towards the final fit flight now then and the Red Baron lands in the lead just in front of she's far and Mary Junior. It's three of them hitting bobs and they come in one on heads bobbing. It's Mary Junior getting back up and Mary Junior is taking it. She's far ahead was seven and the Red Baron and Blooming Good neck and item half. Beauty Queen ran on Will and well, Mary Junior looked to have been swallowed up by them, but came back to take it, and it's a 1-2 for Graham Clutterbuck, and that's the third race on the trot where we've seen a trainer take a 1-2, and that's the first showing really for Graham Clutterbuck this season at Cheltenham, and it's Mary Junior the winner for Graham Clutterbuck. She's far ahead, was second for the same trainer, the Red Baron for Joshua Sutton was third, Blooming Good for Craig Beckwith was fourth, and Beauty Queen ran on to be fifth.